Good morning, children. Let's continue with science lesson one: growing plants. Today we will deal with the topic dispersal of seeds. Children, plants are present all around us. Normally, plants are seen growing at a distance from each other. So, the process of scattering away of seeds from the mother plant is called dispersal of seeds. Plants need space, sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil to grow. If they grow too close to each other, the plants will not get sufficient space and nutrients from the soil to support their growth. So, dispersal of seeds is very important. Dispersal of seeds occurs by the help of various agents such as air, water and animals. These agents are known as agents of dispersal. So now let's start the brief description of agents of dispersal. Number one, dispersal by wind. Some fruits have very light and hairy or wind-shaped seeds which are easily blown to far off places. Example, dandelion, cotton, etc. Next comes the dispersal by water. Seeds of some fruits have waterproof covering which makes them so light that they can float on water and can be carried to far off places. Example, coconut, lotus, etc. Next comes the dispersal by animals. Some seeds have hook-like structure that help them cling on to animals. Some have fur or some have sticky substances that stick to animal skin and are carried away from the parent plant. Example, cochlebur, berries, etc. And the last is dispersal by explosion. Some seeds have a leathery covering or are found inside pods that explode or split open when exposed to the sun or when they dry up or even when they are touched. When the pods burst open, the seeds are scattered far away from the parent plant. Examples Pea seeds balsam etc so children today this much only along with the video i am sending an att 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 attachment with it which is related to your back exercises so start question number a question number b question number c question number d and question number e in your copy please write the questions nicely and i have sent the answers so please do it properly in your interleaf Science copy. So thank you.